Good morning, everyone. Today is the 31st of January, 2018. It's a Wednesday morning. I uh, opened up my charts and my calendar today and uh, saw that it was Fed Day, uh, choosing not to trade the uh, RTY on Fed Days. Um, so I'm over here on the CL, and the GC is on the screen next door looking for opportunities. Uh, I thought I would search for separation opportunities and uh, include uh, that in my uh, tutorial this morning uh, to some degree. So what we're going to do is be on the lookout for separation. BB's being pulled away from the white band. Okay, And I'll show you some uh, opportunities that present themselves, should they present themselves, and uh, see if it's worthy of a trade. So. Um, I'm going to be scouting around, and I'll let you know as soon as I find something. Okay, looking at the GC here, okay, just looking what happened uh, recently, uh, notice that large separation down here. I mean, that's huge separation. So right there, if we were looking for an opportunity, be interested as that separated right there, looking for a, what, a long so right here was the opportunity to go for that long. Okay. So what would we have used as an entry signal? Well, we would have used this 144 yellow dot curling for the very first time right here. Okay. So right here is the first signal that we got. If we used that, we would have gotten into the trade right here. Okay. Obviously, we had a bar that came down a little further than there. So here's what would have happened. We would have taken the trade as the yellow dot curled right here. Let me put this all together for you. We would have taken the trade right there as that yellow dot curled up and printed. That was our signal. So we would have got into the trade right there and we would have put our stop loss one tick below the pivot. And what happened next is this big bar came down and it would have taken us out. We would have made a gift there. So that gift would have been, looks like about eight ticks or so. Here's the bell, the market open. I've got a little sound uh, track that uh, signifies that. But uh, here we've got a gift of about, uh, looks like about three, four ticks. Okay, but we would have entered the trade again right here on this yellow dot curling. Okay, we still got the separation here. That didn't dissipate. So on a gift, we would have taken another opportunity long, and we would have gotten in here this time, somewhere around here, and our stop loss would have been one tick below the pivot. This one did not come back and get us. So getting in here, we would have already approached one point four. Okay? Could have got out with one point four. Um, but just looking at the value here of this separation, right? Passed it over to the six ten. Didn't really see separation here on the nine eighty seven. Or the 1597, so we would have let that go. We wouldn't have acknowledged any type of a signal on that set of charts right here. But we did have it on the 440 and the 610. So based on what they were telling us, we would have gotten into the trade. Anyway, let's look for one coming up here. We would have missed that one, but let's find one that's approaching. Nothing yet here on the GC. I'm kind of shying away from the uh, CL. We're having an oil inventories in about 50 minutes at 9.30. I try to stay away from anticipated news. Uh, it's usually a pretty large impact on the CL. So I'm focusing on the GC here for right now, but uh, nothing. Separation here and then really you know, nothing to speak of here. Okay, here's an easy one. Notice this nice separation here underneath the 610. It's got a pretty good distance between the white band and this black BB here. 
looking for a signal, right here is where it's at. This BB here went sideways and the signal for the pivot would have been right here as this guy prints up. So that's what I'm waiting for. Waiting for him to print up. Which he did. Order pending. Order filled. I'm in the trade. Got in the trade right there. Long. Waiting for the separation to kick in the pressure to the upside. And there we go. Nice push up, separation, had pressure that needed to be released. It released the pressure, forcing the bars up. What do we want to see as we're managing the trade? Well, we want to see the velocity continue. That's nothing more than the BBs being spread apart here from one to the next, one to the next, one to the next. We want to see that continue. What we don't want to see is any type of a slowdown. Okay, slowdown means stalling out, hesitating. That would be a first sign of danger. So taking all of these charts into consideration is a higher level of understanding. So just looking at what we've got right here, this guy is slowing down. He's tight to the band. Okay, if he was slowing down with separation, that would mean a different picture than being tight to the rail and pointing down. Okay, He's getting closer to the rail because of that. This guy is coming down and if you notice the separation here decreased and this BB got closer to the band. Well that's a sign of strength. As soon as he gets closer to the band that's a sign of strength. Okay so he's actually pushing, this guy is actually pushing this guy closer to the band. If we're going with the premise that separation is weakness, he was weaker here than he actually is right here. The BB got closer. That means he's stronger now in the upward direction. Same with the 610 here. He was more separated. Now he's closer to the white band. Stronger up. Okay, here's the target. I'm just using a simple Fibonacci extension. Okay, I'm getting out just a wee bit shy of the 100%. Okay, right there, beyond the 100%, I'm going one tick below the 100%. Okay, right here, looking at this 233. We've got separation on the top here, which means there's going to be an impulse down. How far? Don't know. But this guy here is still holding strong. He's actually across the river on the rail. Okay, so we can expect a little push down and then a continued push up. So let's see how that plays out. Push down and then a push up. So here we had a minor push down because of this separation on the 233. That pressure needed to be released. And he actually pushed this 610 closer to the rail. Uh, it's very hard to see here. I have to look close. But this BB here was a little further away than this BB here. So it actually pushed it closer to the white band and actually made it minutely stronger to the upside. Okay, Keep in mind, separation is weakness, tight to the rail touching is strength. So if you can actually stick your nose up to the screen, we have a little bit of separation here and then it pushed it closer to the band right here, making it stronger. So this push down actually made the large time frame stronger. There we go, almost at target. covered everything here. Uh, we had the 
BBs coming into the river here. This guy started pointing down and bird in the hand, the target was right up here, a couple ticks away and seeing the hesitation and the signs of weakness that we were going to push down didn't mean we weren't going to continue back up. I just decided to pull everything off the table because a bird in the hand is worth collecting on rather than running through a pullback and managing the trade through a pullback. Okay, so clearing everything off of the table was the prudent thing to do. Got uh, 2.6 out of the deal, which isn't a bad day's uh, trade. And I'm going to call it a day here. See you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.